well, the lights, or the electricity's out in our town, or whatever, so anyways, I'm gonna make a video, and this is gonna be on soul sleep. It's another false doctrine that the Seventh-day Adventists will use, or Jehovah's Witnesses, or Christadelphians, or many other, um, denominations, whatever. Um, I read somewhere that they use these verses in Ecclesiastes, I don't really see how. But Ecclesiastes 9.5, it says, For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything, neither have they any more a reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Um, <clears throat> well, the, the book of Ecclesiastes is written from a man's perspective, and they use this to Ecclesiastes 12.7. Um, then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the Spirit shall return unto God who gave it. I still don't see how they can use this to support soul sleep. It says the Spirit returns to God. Anyways, we'll read what Got Questions has to say about it. Soul sleep is a belief that after a person dies, his or her soul sleeps until the resurrection and final judgment. The concept of soul sleep is not biblical. When the Bible describes a person sleeping in relation to death, Luke 8.52 or 1 Corinthians 15.6, it does not mean literal sleep. Sleeping is just a way to describe death because a dead body appears to be asleep. The moment we die, we face the judgment of God. Hebrews 9.27 for believers to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. 2 Corinthians 5, 6-8, Philippians 1.23 um, For unbelievers, death means everlasting punishment in hell. Luke 16.22-23 Until the final resurrection, though, there is a temporary heaven, paradise. Luke 23.4 43, 2 Corinthians 12, 4, in a temporary hell, Hades, Revelation 1, 18, 20, 13 through 14, it, as, can clear, as can be clearly seen in Luke 16, 19 through 31, neither in paradise nor in Hades are people sleeping. It could be said, though, that a person's body is sleeping while his soul is in paradise or Hades. At the resurrection, this body is awakened and transformed into the everlasting body a person will possess for eternity. Whether in heaven or hell, those who are in paradise will be sent to the new heavens and new earth. Revelation 21.1 Those who were in Hades will be thrown into the lake of fire. Revelation 20.11-15 These are the final, eternal destinations of all people, based entirely on whether or not a person trusted Jesus Christ for salvation. <clears throat> You know, the King James Bible doesn't talk about Hades, it talks about hell, so it's the same thing. Um, it's a temporary place until the lake of fire. Um, but yeah, the Bible says that to be absent from the body is to be with the Lord. So soul sleep is completely unbiblical and false doctrine. Thanks for watching, God bless you. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.